Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan, and today we're going to continue our video series designed to educate and inform the public. So please subscribe to our channel. Now, what are you going to do if you got spousal support or you got child support, you got some level of support, the court gave it to you, your ex isn't going to pay it, refuses to pay it, it's not going to pay it, doesn't want to pay it, doesn't want to give you a dime. What do you do? I've had people call me up and say, my ex owes me thousands of dollars. And the first thing that I'm thinking of, thousands? Uh, you let it go to be thousands? Once it's a few hundred, you should be filing motions before the court. You have to understand one thing. There's a point at which it pays to complain about it. When you hit that point, that's when you should go to court. You should file a motion to show cause why they should be held in contempt for violating the court's order. The court will take it seriously. I don't know if you know this, but certain levels of support is actually a crime. It's actually a violation of criminal statute. Somebody can be charged with a crime for not paying child support. There's, for not paying a court ordered support can actually be a crime. That's how seriously the legislature takes this. Now, if you take it that seriously, the moment somebody starts owing you support and non-compliant and you get the feeling that this is not somebody who was on vacation and forgot to send a check, this is a chronic violator, you better have that motion filed by your lawyer to hold that person in contempt. Because if not, you're gonna let a large accumulation develop and he or she will never be able to pay you back. A small bill can be paid back, maybe it can be worked out. If you let it go for so long, you show the court that you really don't care that much about it, that you probably don't need the money. And you know, as far as getting back, yeah, the court can yell at him and find him and do that. It's not ultimately gonna help you get paid. It's easier to ask the court to hold somebody accountable for paying a small amount of money and to get the small amount of money than to ask the court to hold somebody accountable for a large amount of money and to get the money. Yes, the court will hold them accountable, but will you get the money? At the end of the day, do you want the court to make a ruling or do you want to be paid? I think you want to be paid, so therefore it has to be handled wisely. The wise way to do it is as soon as you detect a problem in the, in the payment, you bring it to the court's attention so you get ahead of it, so that the court will realize, you know what, we're going to hold this person in contempt, make sure those payments are made. That's the way to handle it. If you have questions about your case, reach out. We'll be glad to help you out.